This episode is brought to you by Cast 11, Prescott's number one podcast network. Take 201. Hey, Ben. Hey, Mike. Are you ready for our phone call today? You know I am. We have another great guest lined up. Can't wait. I love phone calls. And I love waiting. So let's go. Perfect. Nailed it. Nailed it. Took, took a minute. First Thanks try. For the help. First try. <laughs> so, Ben, here uh, at Waiting on a Phone Call podcast, we, you know, we got a lot of friends. Friends in the industry. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. And, uh, well, I call it the industry because, well, we're so tied in, right? Yeah. All those famous friends. All A-listers. Those, yeah. That's, some, that's impressive, man. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, there's a list. And they're all at the top. <laughs> On that A-list. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. We don't go B-list. Not here. here. Not around here. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. No, so we, uh, yeah, we just end up with all these contacts around. Mm-hmm. Um, and for me, today's guest, just a random, random coincidence, I ran into him at... Uh, what we're proud to say in Arizona is, you know, one of the homes of spring training. Yeah. Nice. Right? We got all the parks down there <laughs> hosting, uh, I don't know, the different teams. We got Cubs. We got other teams. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. You got one. Yeah. yeah. Help me out. You're the yeah. you're the sports guy. Uh, yeah, it kind of rotates, but I feel like the Angels are usually here. The the Rangers used to be, but now, I, feel, I don't know, they've been in like Texas and, or I'm sorry, Florida and here, and uh, we got, I feel like the Rockies are here a lot. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, they all kind of have their own different like areas around the valley, uh, yeah. down in the valley where yeah, they, don't where they, they practice, like and then there's some stadiums where they play like uh, what it was, the Tempe Diablo Stadium. I doubt it's mm-hmm. called that anymore, but that's what it was called, you know, in the yeah. good old days. Back in the days. Yeah. Um, yeah, I usually go to the one in Scottsdale. Of course you do. Around Pima. You're a fancy guy. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more of a, the Maryvale type. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Heck, yeah. West Side. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Scary Side. <laughs> I know, I'm the East Side. Uh, well, I, I get to claim it because I... You know, I actually lived there for several years. True. Formative years. So, yeah, you know, that's like home away from home. Yep. Yep. You know it like the back of your hand. I do. Yep. Yeah. And so, so yeah, I was at the uh, spring training and our friend, the great comedic actor and uh, thespian, Chad Smith. Almost. Oh. N- nearly there. Will Farrell. Oh, his. His doppelganger. Yeah. I was close. That's as close as you can come, I think. Uh, Chad Smith, that's right. He's our uh, drummer from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Doppelganger. They, yeah. I know they are. Twinsies. They are twinsies. And Will can kind of compete on the drums. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not nearly as good, but pretty impressive. I'd say quite impressive. Yeah. He uh, he held it down much better than I would do. But right. yeah. his father was a musician. I don't know if you knew that. Will Farrell's father, yeah, was a uh, keyboard? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Um, and uh, there was something else. What? Uh, I'm going to screw this up, but the band was... Um, uh, oh, yeah, the Rev uh, Brothers something. The Righteous Brothers. Righteous Brothers. It was the Righteous Brothers. I was going to say the Reverend Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, was that in might the, be the same yeah, thing. I was in uh, the, but yeah, the I think realm. he played a couple instruments for the Righteous Brothers. And, uh, you know, it's obviously it's obvious where he gets his good hair. Yeah, I mean, tremendous curly afro on locks. Mr. Roy Farrell, mm-hmm. the father to the great Will Farrell. Right. So I think that's where he gets his musical, you know, prowess. Whether it be the drums or cowbell singing, sing. He is a heck of a singer. Oh man. Yeah. I'm glad you brought that up. The cowbell is one of his signature moves. Right. Oh yeah. Right. And yeah. that's uh, that's an SNL skit. Yeah, that comes well, from that's his where early it came years. From. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, and so for our, you know, listeners that don't know, Will Ferrell got his start there at Saturday Night Live in, in the mid-90s. That was when he hit the big time, for sure. He yeah. kind of saved the show. Yeah, I think they, they maybe hit a lull there um, on their ratings. And then Will came in along with uh, Catan, yep, Chris, Chris Catan, Catan, and Sherry O'Terry. Sherry O'Terry. Yeah. Yeah, the three of them coming from the groundlings. Nice. A nice... Uh, comedic troupe there in is that in LA 
I don't know. There's some in Must like be. L.A., Chicago. I mean, yeah. I can't think Gotta of be. one in Chicago. So, yeah, there they are uh, entering the scene and just crushed it. I mean, we were all watching SNL. Have you ever seen his uh, his audition tape? No. Oh, man. It's uh, it's real good. Is it? Yeah. It's, you know, it, and it's funny because imagine. from his audition tape, came like they they did skits from skits uh, wow sketches from his audition that then became a sketch on the show no way yeah that's oh, yeah. pretty good uh but it looked like at least uh two of them uh then became at, at least were uh, they impressions he was well right he was doing a lot of impressions is harry carey i mean oh yeah you know that was like one of them that's Speaking gotta be it's covers. gotta be my favorite of of his uh roles that he played on snl he's like if you were a hot dog you're starving. Would you eat yourself? I would. <laughs> I know. Smother myself in relish, ketchup, mustard. <laughs> I don't know. It's just really good. I'm a par- I don't do it. That's it why I'm so not good. on SNL. Oh, but no. uh, man, that's it, that's one of the ones that have always has always stuck with me as like oh, one yeah. of my favorites for sure. Because Harry Carey was an amazing. Yeah, broadcaster, broadcaster, right? And he, he like every time he did, it, he always had his head bob- bobbing, you know, and like moving around. <laughs> Can you catch a fly ball? <laughs> yeah, no, he's so good. And then Will just he he captured it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Along with uh, George W. He did a yes, a, right? A heck of a George W. Yeah, that was a good one. Um, yeah, I think uh, you know another one of my favorites was was absolutely the. Uh, um, Mr. Lipton, um, <clears throat> James Lipton. Remind Do you know? Me. Okay, so James Lipton does the uh, inside the actor's studio, uh, and he speaks oh, with actors, but he's like extremely the way he does it. It seems like kind of boring, but then Will Ferrell did his impression of James Lipton, which James Lipton fully approved oh, nice. uh, and loved. Yeah. Um, and, and he would then interview people, but like you know, make it a lot funnier. I think. Oh yeah. Uh, but I don't know. Have you ever right, watched? Just never watched the delivery. The oh yeah, no, okay. I know that one. Yeah. Oh for sure. Good yeah. stuff. Now Good that you stuff. remind me. Yeah, and then Alex Trebek. That was a great oh, one. Oh man, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the Sean Connery. Who played Sean Connery? You know. Oh yeah, he was one of the uh, players on SNL. I can't think of his name, but he's always yelling at Trebek. <laughs> oh, <laughs> playing Sean Connery. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't remember which one. I think a few people might, or no, fail. Mm, fail, but uh, was it Sherry O'Terry and Will Ferrell that did the yes cheerleaders? Ex- cheerleaders. Taco, burrito, what's coming out of your Speedo? <laughs> <laughs> that, I mean, okay, so that might be right there with the uh, the Harry Carey for me, but those were. No, you did. In, a, in yeah, those there. are excellent. So yeah. good. Because, yeah, they stand out. Right, and well, then I mean they good years. For they had, uh, what was the other one where he would uh, uh, Steve uh, Butabi uh, was? Oh, that's uh, right, the Butabi yeah, brothers. The Butabi brothers, which, and that was with Chris uh, Kattan. Right, Night at the Roxbury was the movie. It was you know basically came from that a sketch, <laughs> that sketch, which I think was recurring, but uh, still really. Oh, I know. Really good. Just such good a good stuff. idea. Oh, my gosh. I mean, with those suits and the looks on their face, they, <laughs> they took themselves so seriously. And I feel like <laughs> you could probably go to a lot of bars at those times or clubs and, like, maybe find those guys. Find the you Batavi know, They won't be exactly them, but right. pretty much, you know. Right. The, the guys playing the numbers games. Yeah, uh, exactly. You know, just, <laughs> they won't all say no. <laughs> yeah. And Sherry O'Terry was great in those, too, because she, like – her physical comedy is so good. Yes, yeah. And she's getting knocked around by these two brothers. <laughs> right, right. They had uh, Jim Carrey in there with them on one of the sketches. Oh, I remember, that's which right. was so where good he too. was like suited up and uh, one doing of the them, same thing. basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh uh, my gosh. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, regular years. years. All Killer in the nineties. I know. You're Shout out. Yeah, the nineties. Couldn't get better. We love. We love the decade. Yes, indeed. That's why we're here, Ben. You and I were formed. In the 90s. I mean. Like Transformers, or no, like Wolverine? No. <laughs> Killing it. What am it. I thinking of? <laughs> the, uh, yeah, Voltron. Voltron. We're like Voltron. Exactly. Yeah. Like you know Voltron. what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't Nobody else so. does. I don't yeah. think you do either. <laughs> we were formed. Nice. And, uh, yeah, so now, all these years later, we're getting to reminisce about the 90s. Yes, our experience with it, which everyone can relate to yeah. so well. It's exactly, like perfectly, yeah, yeah. you know. 
I'm telling you what, we have good taste. So, you know, yeah. anybody that's. And we, we were pop culture then. We were, we were pop culture now. I mean, we, we were just so tapped in. Mainstream. Yeah, we have nothing else to do but read People magazine and Life magazine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a lot of TMZ going Just on the internet. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we read the internet a lot. Yeah, which is always, all, you know, 100% true, whatever it is. I love the internet for that. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's nice to be able to rely on it. You can rely on everything that's said, posted. Yeah. Right. Thankfully, we got uh, we got that going for us here in the 21st century. Which is nice. Which is nice. Speaking of that, we're bordering on 2023, Ben. Yes, we are. Here we go. I mean, right. well, I mean, the elephant in the room is it was Christmas yesterday. <laughs> yeah, we haven't even got to that. I know. We're too excited we're to talking get about to our Will. Guests. Will's like a gift. You know, you, he is a gift. He just keeps he's on Christmas giving. too. You know, you think of he like, is. you know, we had Mariah oh. Carey and she's, you know, you think of it in terms of that. But when it comes yeah. to like, you know, who who doesn't love to watch Elf around the holidays? Elf. I feel like that's just You're right. a staple. Um, not to mention his newest one, which I don't know if you've seen Spirited yet. Not yet, uh, no. Man, yeah, it's a musical with him and Ryan Reynolds and and uh, some... Let's see, I, I don't know, not a lot of other super famous people in that movie, but uh, it's real you good. You saw it? I did see it. On Apple, uh, or did you go to the theater? Yeah, no, I don't think, I don't even know if it came to the theater. I saw no, it on Apple. Oh, it's up Apple. at Picture Show. Oh, how about that? Okay. I've seen it on the list. I did not support the local business. I watched it from oh, home. Sorry okay. about that. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, but anyway. They serve some great popcorn there at uh, they just, they sure do. Show. And they have those nice seats. Theater, that, and the nice seats. I mean, I feel like every time so we go there with the family, it's theater. like I'm paying like seven fifty for my wife to take a nap. Yeah. She gets no, so I used to do that. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. With the boys. I mean, right. You know, it's like some Panda Express. Yeah. I'm sorry. Not Panda Express. Uh, oh. Kung Fu Panda. Oh, okay. Kung Fu Panda yeah. Express. Way different. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Both gassy. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, like pay for that seven fifty. Kind of shut your eyes. Boys are on the inside of you. Right. You know. They're, they're not, not going, going anywhere. anywhere. You got your feet out. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. a little R&R. &R. Yeah. Well, those are some nice seats, I guess. Yeah. yeah. It's nice to be able to recline. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. So Spirited is worth the watch. I, I I've think been meaning so. to. Absolutely. Yeah. I just uh, haven't gotten some, around to it. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's kind of funny. I don't want to give anything away. You know, no spoilers. But uh, it'll change your take on saying good afternoon to somebody that's for sure oh, really? 100 <laughs> percent uh and uh i, I think my eyes. favorite line from it and i again i don't want to throw too many spoilers but will ferrell threw out of like the you know the leading cause of death back then was january you know like <laughs> it's like so good <laughs> Yeah, uh, I don't think I get it though. Oh, it's just like it's winter, and like back in the old days. Oh, you back know, in like, like yeah, yeah it's like just winter. People yeah. just didn't survive the worst month of winter. Essentially, all right. January can be pretty gnarly. So what 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 is the setting for the movie? Uh, like, it's uh, it's the Charles to take on the Charles Dickens um, a oh, Christmas right. story. Oh, uh, okay, uh, yeah. And so, it so is, a real or, is that the right movie. name for it? I believe that is. Christmas and and so Christmas Carol, uh, yeah. they. Uh, you know, you got the ghost of Christmas past, present, and future yeah. uh, visiting one, you know, awful human being. Uh, I know, Ebenezer. No, it turns out to be, uh, you know, our antagonist in this movie is. But Ebenezer oh, does. Okay. I can't give it away, man. There's right, too much. Okay, I, I, you're wait, just going to have to watch it. It's hey, good. It's that, real though, good. Uh, Christmas Carol. We've had a lot of Christmas Carol this year. We've got Spirited. Yes. I think there was another one on Netflix that they redid. But then locally... Some of our performing arts, Prescott Valley Performing Arts, they did one recently. Mm -hmm. And then my son actually played in, uh, I think I might have mentioned this on a prior. Right, but he hadn't done broadcast. it at that point. He was. Right, right. Yeah, so how did that go? Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Slayed it? He slayed it. I mean, yeah. Nice. Joseph Sardi, you know, his name in lights. Yeah. Uh, Look no, out. He, he really did great as uh, Bob Cratchit. The whole Cratchit family was really cute and well done. Nice. Um, his uh, wife was Mrs. Cratchit. I can't think I, of what Mrs. Cratchit's that, name do, is right, right now. That'll do. Uh, but yeah, Josie Sabawini. So um, Dr. Joe Sabawini's daughter was playing uh, Mrs. Cratchit. So yeah, they did a great job. And then they had kids like on stage with them. Of course, <laughs> nice. Tiny Tim. 
God bless us, everyone. Now, this child was like four. Uh Uh-huh. So that's not easy to perform on stage at four. So right, but we, uh, you know, we were able to lightly hear "God bless us, everyone." <laughs> so that was pretty cute. But yeah, it's right. it's big this year, the Christmas Carol. Um, so I will watch Spirited you, with yeah, the fam. Might as well. Uh, I mean, now Christmas is coming gone, but the kids are home, which is great. Right? Yeah. So now they're there's on time. Break. Yeah, it's been it was a whirlwind December trying to get them. <sighs> Over the finish line, uh, no assignments, doubt. reports, right. right? The teachers, all the teachers are asking the kids to bring it with the, uh, I don't know, the assignments, work, the workload, work, right? Yeah, yeah book work reports, loads, right? And, we just had the celebration of learning uh, yesterday over it. Well, for uh, La Tierra, so right. you know, you go through and kind of check on what the kids have been working on that you know this first, I oh, guess, right. semester. Cool. Um, and, uh, it was pretty cool. Pretty When pretty good were they stuff. out of school? What day? Uh, it would be the, uh, what was that? Wednesday, you know, this. Yeah. Okay. The, Same as the previous rest of Wednesday. the Wednesday. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Same as the rest of the kids. Yeah. Don't or quote me on PUSD. that. It hadn't happened yet. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Time, future past. Right. Well, so yeah, you're saying that in spirited, our friend Will is it Will? It is who Will talks about right. the leading cause of death being January in the yes. Victorian era was just January. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm with him, oh. and I think I mentioned it on a prior podcast. It's getting cold now. It's just it's, it's cold. Just cold, yeah. And then January, just cold. Yeah, man. When you're waking up and it's teens out, and yeah, uh, and and we're looking forward to more of that. You know, coming up in January, which is. Not idyllic for Uh anybody that, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love seasons, but that's the, I think I've said it too before. The the beauty of Prescott is that we get that like fluctuation in our winters where it's like, it does get, you know, hella cold if you will, but it also Mm -hmm. can stay pretty dang nice, almost, you know, balmy at times. And so, uh, yeah, I I don't know. I, I would, I, I'm like mixed. I have mixed feelings about January personally. I mean, uh, Starts the new year, of course, which is coming up like way too soon. And then uh, we got like the weather, which is not ideal. Always, sometimes it's great. Mm -hmm. My, I had my brother and my dad both died in January, which is not exactly you know that kind of that's not your like uh, makes me rethink like the whole Will Ferrell quote. (laughs) I know now now you bring that. (laughs) My bad. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Dad. Sorry, bro. Uh, No, but I mean uh, that wasn't what. God damn. Um, it was, no, yeah, no, it, it wasn't. wasn't cold. <laughs> right. Uh, but then um, my birthday is uh, the second to last day of January. So, right. you know, I, you know, I got a, and my wife's birthday is also late January, 26. Uh, so, so it is like a mixed month. For it you. is a mixed month all the way around. Yeah. So it's, it's like, I don't new fully year. hate it, but it's like, I, it's, you know, I don't. Some I don't, loss. Yeah. And then some, some you know, gain renewal. of new years. Right. Right. Your, your birthday. Um, so, yeah, let's. I don't know. You would argue that February is much better, obviously, being a February boy yourself. Yeah. It started out with the, uh, yeah, my birthday, which is just starts February out with a bang. Yeah. 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 (laughs) I got to say, February 1st is like the, and I know we're jumping off of January, but February 1st is probably, I know more people with a birthday on February 1st than any other day of the year. It is strange. It is strange. And you're one of them. Right, I you're the one. best one, of course. Well, of course, sorry, to all those other you. ones, yeah. And then Kevin, right? Uh, uh, yeah. I used to work for a guy who had the same. Birthday. You did. Uh-huh. I used to work for a guy, although we're still buddies. Uh, oh, that's yeah, right, Johnny. John. Yeah, uh, and then uh, we got um, boy. There's there's uh, now I'm drawing a blank. Sue, I know you know Sue's up there. There's I, I swear I swear there's you know. You put me on the spot, I won't remember them all, but there's but a there bunch is of people a series. That, if, okay. that if I was like a good friend and would send texts out on that day to everybody for their birthday, You'd I'd be sending a, a lot of texts. I might, yeah, I might yeah, take some time to do that, right? Hey, Paul, good to know. I, yeah. I try to hit you up, but you know. Yeah, yeah. This well, year I'm sure I'll see you. Yeah, yeah, we'll probably see each other. Uh, well, it's always Phoenix Open time, too. We got to make plans. That is true. It's always and and right there. And, and although the Super, Super Bowl is coming. in the area, although they, it seems like they could just keep moving that back. Now it's like dang near mid February. Really? Seems like well, yeah. it's like that's I don't fine. Know, eighth or 
15th or who knows somewhere know. in there because the phoenix open tickets are going to be really expensive i'm sure this year with uh, with the super bowl super being bowl. in phoenix yeah in glendale yeah yeah uh that is a crazy time to be down in the valley i've done that before when the super bowl was in uh the valley and i went to the tournament and it was just like pure chaos yeah yeah i, I, I think I, that was the year i ran into mark Wahlberg. oh nice who is our friend will ferrell's friend you know friend friend of a friend and colleague yeah right? all a-listers like we were talking about and so uh yeah that's i'm surprised the three of you haven't got together at the phoenix at, open at, at any time well really. we're gonna now that yeah. you say something i'll invite you too all right yeah, my man go. about yeah. time yeah we'll get one of those uh box seats mm-hmm. with all the food yum oh, man yeah here Great we go that a boy yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh man i dream of that i i believe that yeah yeah well, they do, uh, you know, the open bar and then lots of food. Open bar, dude. Yeah, yeah. man. They really, they hook it up at those Phoenix Open. Um, yeah, so, I mean, our guy, our guy Will and Mark, mm-hmm. our first ever guest on the show, Marky Mark, well, they're in one of our favorite movies, my favorite, one of my faves, The Other Guys. Yeah, it's a really good one. Absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean, but Will... He's been in so many good ones. Man, I don't think I could. I was thinking about it earlier. I don't know that I could come up with a top five that I could stick, like, you know, yeah. stand by. Because then you'd want to put something else in there. I'd, yeah, I'd be like, oh, no, that one needs to get in there. But then what do I take out? And so, I mean, it's it's. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I can just safely say I, I love all Will Ferrell's movies. Um, yeah. They're always, they always make me, you know, whether even if it's not like an, LOL, laugh out loud. If at least some good giggles, some chuckles. Yeah, He's feel got good the movies. Talent. Usually, yeah. I don't know. He hasn't uh, done a lot of serious stuff, which I appreciate. Yeah. Um, and I think you know he learned at an early age that making people laugh was kind of his you know ticket. And so look at all the different, the cool, the the you know whether it be old school. I mean. I had my dad watch that, and my dad would just randomly like say, "You're my boy, Blue." You know, he's just out of nowhere. <laughs> but it, and so, like, some of his lines is are just iconic. You know, uh, he's he's got to be he's up there. You know, we've had some really good guests, but um, and I can't wait to talk to him. He's you know, but Will that is. Well, uh, yeah, he'll be calling it. Right, of course. Um, but he's up there with like you know the Tiger Woods for me, and I mean Tiger yeah. was like a you know. Would would have been an amazing guest. Uh, right. He was. He was yeah, an he amazing was a great guest. guest. Yeah, uh, and, and he'd be, he's up there with me or for with him for me for sure. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, big fan. as big yeah. Fan. yeah, he's one of the goats. My fanboy a little bit when he does call. Yeah. Oh my god. Totally understandable. Yeah. So I'll try yeah. to hold it. Together. I did. Uh, I did read that he kind of messes with people who ask for yes. autographs. Yeah. I mean, that that's might so just great. Be like he makes him earn it. Thing. Yeah, he makes him like, earn am it. I that your is favorite? so am I your, great. Yeah, <laughs> you prove it. Best. Yeah, <laughs> right. How much you love me. <laughs> You're my biggest fan. Show me. Yeah, I know. Oh, I think so I good. probably could. I could do full fanboy for him and put on a show. Yeah, I feel like I could. I could hit him with some to, to at least make it deserving guy. to get the autograph. You, yeah, I just. I'd rather have. The, I'd rather have the picture. I think. Yeah, the I'd, picture. I'd much rather like snap a quick pic with him and you know say what's up. I mean, more than anything, it'd be so great to just you know have a catch a beer or whatever but his fame has got to be like really tough to do anything in public you know like well probably like like restaurants in you know la there's enough like that's true celebrities right right but otherwise just going to get your coffee right yeah well i mean they got assistance for that starbucks you know oh that's true (laughs) I hope. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't know about that. So <laughs> yeah. I didn't even think. Right. The other, uh, yeah, they just send somebody for their coffee. Right. But right. I like, you know, for that. I like going, you know, to the coffee shop. I like shopping. But I guess you'd learn to not like it if people hounded you everywhere you went. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. When you're going to buy no your doubt. Cheerios. Yeah. You know, I like, uh, I like heading down there. But, uh, you know, my favorite, I think it's got to be Zoolander. Really? His character. You're number one? I think I got to put it number one. Okay. And I'm usually not a number one guy. Right. Um, you know, I don't pick You're a number two I'm guy. like a top five. I always say, oh, that's top five, top five, top yeah. five. Yeah. So everything gets put in top five. Right. But nobody can hold me to a top five. Right. I like mean, you can hold me to If your life depended one. on it, you could probably do it. But yeah. But I think just the movie itself, Zoolander, um, 
it it kind of is just for me the perfect comedy and Will Ferrell as Mugatu. <laughs> I can't think yeah. of his first name. Mugatu. Yeah. <laughs> but oh my gosh, he is amazing. He is He's yeah. so in that role. He just yes. I mean, he just takes on a role and goes so deep. Dare leak. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like they're wearing yeah. trash. Yeah, I mean, it is really good. I, I, I don't know if it's my, my yeah, number right. one. I think my number one is probably Anchorman, honestly, just mm. because I didn't Ron see Brady. it all coming, and he Ron did it Brady. so well. The whole cast really did, but oh, I feel did. like he's yeah. carried every movie. You know that he's, if he's yeah. in, he's the guy. And they are well cast. I mean, the, yes. yeah, when they're that well cast, some of these movies, you know, that's what makes old school so fun because you got. Yeah, the cast around him. Right. Uh, Luke Wilson. Right. Think, Vince Vaughn, right? the usual Vince characters Vaughn. there. Oh, right. Yeah. Vince yeah. Vaughn. Uh-huh. Uh, well, Zoolander with Ben Stiller. Yep. Uh, and uh, Wow. Owen Wilson. <laughs> you're right. Yeah. You're going to say the same name, I feel like, a few times here and there. But yeah. but that's, you know, it's good. He's He works well with those people oh, he for does. sure. Yeah. So it's like they all just go all in. With old school, though, you know. I think it's the streaking scene that that's, we all remember. That's your favorite one? Favorite scene? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I think it's great. The middle-aged man, you know, he's like, you know, he's just, he needs that moment of freedom. He's getting it. And yeah. then his wife pulls up alongside him. Oh, <laughs> Well, they're following him, talking, calling him all kinds of names, and then she realizes. They didn't realize, it's, yeah. Yeah, right. it's him. It's so good. So good. The, you know, I, I got to hope, or I do hope that he's a big part of the writing on all these because it's just, you know, know. some of the stuff. I check into that. It's, uh, it's just, it's gold. Pure right. gold. Pure gold. Yeah. Probably the coolest thing, I think, is is how, you know, you and I can sit here and watch his movies and catch all the, maybe, hopefully all the jokes. And it's really funny as an adult. But we can, for the most part... Most of those movies, I mean, depending on the age of your kids, you can watch it with your kids. And, and uh, mm-hmm. you know, like I I, uh, I talked to my kids about, you know, coming on here today and our, our guest, who our guest was. And I said, Will Ferrell. And they're like, who's that? And I'm like, it's Buddy. You know, Buddy. and they're like, oh, nice. You know, they get all pumped up that Buddy's coming on, you know. That uh, is, yeah. And so it's, uh, and it's not just Elf. There's, you know, almost all the the man maybe not all of them there's some that I, right i'm gonna wait a little while to show them that yeah, i yeah. want to show them real bad, ron burgundy is probably not the right guy. old school is not old quite there for yeah. them yet but, but zoolander uh, works yeah, uh, yeah ricky bobby works <laughs> oh right kicking and screaming, kicking and screaming. Was a really good one yeah yeah thanks for the help wilson appreciate yeah, that nice. yeah love that uh well yeah speaking of the elf um What'd you say? What's his name? Buddy. Buddy. Gosh, how could I forget Buddy? So speaking of Buddy, have you seen the guy around town playing no, Buddy? It's I have amazing. not. We got oh, a yeah. Buddy just he's running sing- around? Yeah. He's like doppelganger for sure. Wow. Uh, wow. Tall guy. Got to be, you know, similar to, um, I don't know, how tall is Will? Like 6'4"? 6'3", 6'4", yeah. So he's up there. Just a little far. And then he's got this great... Co- I mean, he's got the buddy costume, and he's wow. totally going around to different events. He was at uh, the courthouse lighting, Acker Night, um, the holiday light parade. Really? Yeah, he Man, was at all I of them. And uh, it. yeah, so you could take pictures with him, and he was, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, See, all right, yeah. Pulled one I up. Mean, he's he's got the curly hair. He's got Smiling, the smile. Super He's friendly. Definitely got the smile like, going on. You yeah. Know, got that innocent, like friendly. Oh, Valley of Lights. There you go. Good for him. I that I is didn't make that Valley is Lights. spreading some holiday cheer the around did, Prescott. Yeah, Prescott Valley. I know. Isn't that cool? Quad City. I don't know. I don't know cheer. his story. If he's a local guy. Um, he appears to be a pilot. Oh, and he's piloting a plane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could see so, that. Yeah. Like, yeah, tall, friendly guy. Pilot, right? You know, right? Oh man, good for him. That's yeah, fantastic. Does he have a name? Uh, I'm sure Just he does. The elf, buddy, He's buddy, <laughs> buddy. I mean, buddy. I I still haven't tried that recipe, but I ought to. And I'll bet it's not bad. Which one? The recipe of spaghetti and maple syrup <laughs> or pancake syrup. I can't. <laughs> you couldn't. I couldn't. I oh, can't I do think it. I could. I think it would work. Yeah. Well enough to try. 
But I obviously, think I haven't done that. I love that. You know. All kids would probably love that. Yeah, spaghetti so, with spaghetti syrup. Spaghetti and oh, yeah. syrup. Oh. oh, man. Yeah, the kids put so much syrup on stuff if I let them. <laughs> right. But I'm a control freak. I'll yeah, yeah. That, so you so. just start slapping yeah, hands. Yeah, I'm like, no, that's enough. That's yeah. enough. That's enough. Stop that. You're drowning it. <laughs> it's going to die. You're ruining the flavor. <laughs> Yeah, but you can't really ruin on pancakes. Well, I, I mean, no, there I mean, is a flavor, but it's kind of right. Just, but once you have all syrup, then it's just syrup. Are you a, do you say syrup I or say syrup. syrup? I say syrup. Syrup. You say syrup? Syrup. 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 I don't say syrup. I say syrup. Huh. I know. Interesting. I, I feel like I'm a. What do you say? I'm a syrup. Syrup. Syrup kind of yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. Syrup. Or scissor. I like scissor. That's why. I, I tell, yeah. Oh, yeah. I tell the kids. Have you done you know? a lot of scissor? Drinking? I have not had. The drink. I well, I know. Had... Speaking of illness, mm -hmm. you know, this would be the time of year to have a little scissor. Are you talking codeine and Sprite right now? Oh, is that what scissor is? <laughs> yeah. Codeine? And nice. Sprite. Oh, I thought it was Robitussin. Like purple drink. Uh, well, the Tussin always helps, yeah, of course. Tussin. Uh, but no, that's Tussin and purple tussin. drink, right? Yeah, no, yeah, it's not no, Tussin. It's, it's codeine. It's Where codeine. are people getting codeine? I, that's a good question. You can get but Tussin it's like from the store. It's a full on thing. Scissor. Speaking of, oh man, we gotta have Chris Rock on our show. Yeah, he can. Right, I would think he's the one who does the Tussin. Oh, he does love the bit, right? Tussin, yeah, his father. Yeah. He can explain the Tussin, the scissor. Yeah, difference. Well, there for exactly, because yeah. obviously I'm ignorant on this. I swear it's Tussin. Yeah, I don't think Tussin so, buddy. Like grape soda. <laughs> that's not. Scissor. I mean, I'm sure that's a thing for somebody Back in, somewhere. Yeah, that was the that was the in central the Arizona. First, Sorry, right? I, that was I the don't first know the first rendition of scissor, and then someone got a bottle of codeine. codeine. Like this is way better. Well, obviously. yeah. I mean, if I had codeine, I would definitely, <laughs> yeah. you know, use that in my no, scissor. I, yeah, don't recommend that for anyone out there. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just no codeine. Jk, no, you know. Jk. Hello, Jk. <laughs> 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 yes, sir. Yeah. So okay. We anyway, so no that. scissor, but I do call it that, and I hope. Yeah. Now I feel bad because my kids are gonna hear this and they're gonna be like, "What's that?" Well, really? scissor. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. like, well, it's now it's syrup, kids. It's only syrup. It's you ruined it, <laughs> or I did. Well, too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Syrup. I know. I don't like saying syrup, but I do. It feels. I mean, it do you feel pretentious low. when you're like syrup? No. I, could you pass the syrup? No, I feel like syrup is more like. High end, really? Yeah, wow. Syrup. I, I don't know, man. I'm drinking syrup. Agree to disagree. We don't have a lot of fights on here, but I'm gonna reach yeah, across the aisle syrup, here and syrup? slap you. That sounds like like I got something in my throat. Syrup. Syrup. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I'm saying I don't like it. I feel like it's low, low rent. Speaking of drinking syrup, though. Okay. Syrup. What's that movie? Dang. Here we go. While we're on movies, quiz um, time. It's an independent film okay. with the guys who chug syrup in their, like, county cops, county deputies. Oh, the Super Trooper Boys? The, Super uh, Troopers. Yeah, Thank okay, you. yeah. Is that the one we're talking about? Yeah. yeah all right, good. Oh, Thank man. you. I, man, you just had to give me a couple Waited, hints there. I know. Yeah. Two words. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like. <laughs> right. I'm a big uh, big fan of those guys, the, you know, Super Troopers and, yeah, and all that. I'm surprised Will Ferrell hadn't gone in with them. They are a troop of yeah, some sort. Yeah, Seven something. Yeah, the monkeys? No, that no. was part of the plot. Right, like, right, right. Yeah, well, anyway. Anywho. anywho. Roundabout story. Uh, they are... Uh, not the ones calling in. They're not calling It's in. Will. We're looking for Mr. Yeah. Farrell. Will is our syrup guy. He's the only guy we care about. And really, yeah, impressive guy. Great career. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, sir. He hasn't called yet, which I'm surprised. I am too, with given your relationship. Okay, so it would know? be like you guys are in California, it's an hour behind. So maybe I misquoted. You know, he's out there in Orange County, one um, of my favorite counties. Is it? Yeah, the county of Orange. Well, yeah. It probably smells nice. Yeah. And, you know, it's got some nice beaches, nice towns. It's got Disneyland. Ooh. There you go. He'd be a fun guy to go to Disney. Man, right? yeah. I could only imagine. You know? Yeah. But is he always on like that? I mean, I got to think that he probably has bad days, but uh, for the most part, yeah. it's just, just like quiet and chill. It's, it's like he says in Ricky Bobby, I, you know, or Talladega Nights, I should say, as Ricky Bobby. Yeah. Just wake up, piss excellence. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> 
<laughs> I feel like he does. That's what he. That's that was like that line was was uh, talking about his you know his comedic roles and how like great he is. He he straight up does just like just churns out he excellence. Does. Excellence, yeah. yeah. Uh, nice. In my opinion, not maybe maybe he's not for everybody. Maybe not everyone loves him. Maybe he doesn't yeah. love us. And is there anyone out there call. that doesn't love Will Ferrell? We'd love to know. Wow, I, that would be kind of sad. Hard. Yeah, it'd be hard. It, they're gonna. I gotta like just think that that's gonna be a really grumpy person, generally speaking. Yeah, like they, you know, it just they, doesn't have any know. fun. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, our guy. I don't think he's he's calling in. He's uh, not obviously today. not not ringing in on this beautiful telephone we have here. Well. Uh, you know, he, we got a little time, I think, I don't know how we're doing there, but, uh, we, you know, I, I'm just holding out hope because it would be, it would be great to talk to him. I can, can only imagine what he would add to our show, how much better he would make it. Can you, can you just find that? Just well, think yeah, about I that know. for a second. Cause he would be making us laugh. Right. Like my favorite sketch of his where he's, you know, talking about his plums. <laughs> <laughs> I had to bring that one up. From he's bounding down. He's yeah. bounding down. That's yeah. right. I don't know. Is that outtakes that we see? I think that. Well, that did make it. So that is that is part in, of the show, right? But okay. but not all the uh, the other parts that we were we were looking at with Craig later. Robinson and Danny McBride. Yep. Uh huh. Um, uh, that's great uh, scene. It's. I mean, Danny great McBride is basically the the main guys. character in the show. But once yeah. again, you know, Will Ferrell comes in and just adds excellence. He does excellence. Yeah. Excellent, yes. Yeah. And think about, you know, in other podcasts I know I've used, like, if you ain't first, you're last, and, like, all these other things. Like, there's so many lines of Will Ferrell's that just, I feel like, and maybe I'm just a dummy that kind of uses movie quotes every day oh, yeah. for well, we all know, need different cliches, situations, right? right? But uh, when I think about it, it's a lot of his that come into to my daily routine. Nice. Yeah, yeah he's a great ripping guy him off constantly. Sorry, yeah. Will, appreciate the... I'm sure he likes the, you know, vote of confidence. Perhaps. Like, you know, what he said is worth saying again. I, yeah, he's got to know that for yeah. sure. Yes, I'm sure sir. he does. Yeah. But, uh, no, as uh, as an artist, he's, he's tops. And uh, we certainly salute the man, the myth, the legend that is Will Ferrell. Absolutely. So glad to have had him on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In uh, our yeah. own little way. In our way. Yeah, in our very special way. But I think, yeah, we gotta we gotta wrap this up. Um I have to go to an appointment. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> at the at the appointment store or what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they just sign you up. Like, come on in. You need a place to go? <laughs> here we are. Right. If you need to pretend you're busy, yeah. You act busy, right. like, here, we'll make you an appointment. Exactly. For nothing. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. I it's might a store use, for guys like yeah, you and me. Yeah, no, that's a <laughs> useful store. Yeah. Uh, I got an appointment. At the appointment store. At the appointment store. Oh, I, I think I... Mike uh, and Ben, regular. Yeah, that's well done. I'm we almost just... through my 10 punch card. Then I get one appointment free. Heck yeah. yeah. Nice. I'm a coupon guy. Yeah, well, hey, that's every bit helps. Everybody. You know, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Pinching pennies here and there. I love it. Yeah. I, I, you know Miserly. I approve. I know. Yeah, what do you call it? Miser. Miserly, Miserly? yeah, oh, okay. miser. I had uh, another phrase for it. Uh, uh, the budgie, yeah, quite yeah, the budgie, budgie. Okay. right? Yeah, that, the budgie. That one's, yeah. See, again, that comes from a different movie where I, you know, basically took you that and it. incorporated it into oh, my life. Your you lexicon, yeah. yeah. Lock, stock, and two smoking barrels. Oh, budgie. Yeah. Great British, deep British. Great there. movie. English. Yeah, but Will Ferrell was not in that. No. He would have made it, it would have been better. It would, yeah, <laughs> it would have been better All if he right, was. Yeah. You could almost do that with any movie. We love this guy, but we got to say bye to him. Will, actually, John William Farrell. Yeah, Will. Will. Yeah, Will the Thrill. Will the Thrill, born 1967. Uh, so many things that we didn't get to. Yeah. No. All the he, and sorry. Right. Can I just say that he's been like snubbed and robbed, and I swear that they've added like comedy awards or comedy categories to these awards platforms because of guys like him that have done like i don't know i think noteworthy award worthy 
um, um, roles and then like always end up the most they get is like a nomination and he, he didn't yeah. really win a lot of awards for the things that he's done and I feel like he has deserved to do that so yeah. uh, if we well here's his award today right we're, we're giving him a lifetime achievement lifetime award. achievement award do absolutely deserve waiting on a phone call he's podcast earned it yep yep he's our best guest yet yeah yep. uh, there it is he's the boat the boat best of all time best of all time nicely done Will Yep. Thanks, Will. Thanks for done, Mike. Thank you. Yeah. Always Sorry great to him. see you. Good to see you, as always. Appreciate it. Catch you next week. Yep. Have and until then, on. see you then. Toodles. <laughs> Listen in to Waiting on a Phone Call wherever you find podcasts and connect with us through Facebook and Instagram at Waiting on a Phone Call Podcast. You can also tune in to news, updates, and information from Prescott, Arizona on Cast 11, Prescott's number one podcast network. 